game. Nothing. And that one, my goodness, that was almost too easy. Yeah, you're not going to have too many attempts shorter than that one. And I don't think this was blocked. That's about as bad a miss as you can have. Herbert and the Chargers now with a first and 10 at their own 20-yard line. They'll hand off here to Eckler. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Something to watch here in week one of the season, tackling. Because you and I both know that in the preseason, a lot of these guys don't play a whole lot. Plus the intensity and the speed really ratchets up on opening week. Gets it to Gabriel on the jet sweep. And he'll lose yardage here. Back at the 41. Two yards the loss, second and 12. As a wide out, when you take that handoff and you're coming around the edge, you're expecting to see nothing but empty space in front of you. But if not... Well, things can go south in a hurry, and that's exactly what we saw on that play with a loss. Here's Herbert now on second down. On the screen, this is Eckler. Give him three on the screen. He couldn't break free, and it's third down. His pass. So many things have to come together just right for a screen pass to break for big yardage. The blocking, the timing of the pass to the runner. Everything has to fit together just right. But on that play, the defense was able to disrupt things and hold it to a short game. He'll get this to Eckler. And he's got another first down as the tackle's going to be made at the Bengals' 39. 17 yards for the Chargers there as they've got themselves a first down. So they'll come up in Bengals' territory now with a first and 10 at the 39-yard line. Herbert will give this one to Eckler. And they'll wind up getting this one all the way down inside the 20. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. With Melvin Gordon moving on to Denver, Austin Eckler is officially the Chargers' number one option at the running back position. Gordon spent a lot of time holding out last year. Eckler took full advantage with a breakout season. 92 receptions, 993 yards and eight touchdowns. He was in the top 10 in the league in receptions, receiving touchdowns, and all-purpose yards. An incomplete pass on first down. That leads to a second and ten. On the give, this is Eckler. And he'll go down here at the 12-yard line. Five yards, now it's third and five. At the 12-yard line. All right, Brandon, I know we're in the early going here, but those kind of runs, they open up a world of opportunities for this offense going forward. From the gun, Herbert on third down. That's complete, right around the eight. And he will have the first down before he's brought down at the three. First, and first catch of the new season for him, and he picks up the first. First and goal from the three. Try to punch it in with Eckler. And he gets halfway home from the four down to the two-yard line. Charger ball carrier brought down at the two-yard line. More muscle up front for this second and two. They've got three tight ends out there. We're scoreless after one. Second and goal, and they will try again from the two-yard line. Here's Herbert. This is caught, and he takes it in for a Charger touchdown. A two-yard touchdown grab as his guys are first onto the scoreboard here this afternoon. Bouncing back nicely from that bad opening drive where he threw the interception. Drive number two leads him right down the field and into the end zone. So obviously his confidence was never lost, and that's a good thing to see. Great quality to have, and you absolutely must maintain that as a quarterback. But I have to think that they're probably still on the script that they prepared for this game. Just the second drive, they've worked on these plays all week in practice. Put them, in, put them to good use on that one. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. 
And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. It's been an awfully slow start for them. This is their third possession. They don't have a first down yet. So that means they have to change up what they're doing, and for some teams, it's a change in tempo, usually moving it to more up-tempo type of an offense just to try and change their fortunes right now. What they've been doing so far isn't working. Maybe they'll do that. At the 35-yard line. Extra bulk up front for second and inches. Three tight ends. It's a jet sweep. They get it to Green. And he'll get up near the 45. They'll spot it at the 44. Nine yards to pick up there, and it's a first down. Well, we've seen running backs in today's NFL get involved in the passing game. Maybe it's about time more receivers like that get involved in the running game. And that is something we are seeing more and more in this league, no question about it. That wasn't the biggest of gains, but it was enough to get them a first down. And it continues to test the defense. They have to think on every play about who might end up with the ball. Mixon with a first down carry. Three yards on the pickup there, and it'll be second down. Give credit to the defense for stringing that play out, and they gave up no cutback angle. You know he was trying to dart through. No place for him to go. A nice job there, only giving up a three-yard gain. The last run got three. Now here's second and seven. Now it's Burrow. Escaping the pressure right. And that throw intercepted. It's Chris Harris, the Pro Bowl corner. And they are going to set up shop at the 40-yard line. A young quarterback, Charles, rolling to his right. I know he's right-handed, but is that one that maybe a veteran sticks in his pocket? I think so, but you have to remember with young quarterbacks, it may take a few years before they get all the stuff out of them that they did earlier in their career or even in their college days when they were used to being dominant. In this case, the NFL veteran defense ended up winning the battle. The Charger drive about to get going. Things progressing to plan so far. Their defense has been solid, and they've got themselves a 7-0 lead after the touchdown the last time they had the ball. And this is no time to even think about, hey, are we going to milk the clock? Hey, are we just going to do ball control? This is the NFL. 7-0 leads, they don't last very long unless you continue to push the envelope on offense. The first down run got five. Here's second and five. The handoff. It's Eckler. And they'll work this down to the 40-yard line. Tackled there. 16 yards, a first down. Now, this is an example of breaking down a defense because on a lot of these runs, he's getting past the point of attack. And guess what he's doing? Forcing the secondary guys to have to make a lot of tackles. On first down, it's Herbert. He'll find Williams on the slant. And brought down, but not before they're inside the 25. Another strong gain on the last two plays. They've moved it a combined 33 yards. Running on first down, Eckler. Tackle made there by Josh Bynes. Eckler, the ball carrier. When you find that kind of yardage, you couldn't be more confident as a ball carrier. And guess what? You're going to go back and tell your offensive coordinator, I'd like to keep carrying it, thank you. At the Bengals, the run got four. Now they deal with a second and six. Out of the gun, Eckler running it. And he's only going to get a yard from the 20 to the 19. Charger ball carrier. 
He was brought down by Mackenzie Alexander. It's a gain of a yard. And it's third down. look here for the Bengals as they try to defend this on third. From the shotgun, here's Herbert. Henry's got it out on the left side. And he is out of bounds, getting it down to the 10. Herbert hooking up with Henry that time for the Charger first. First down, Charger. So not quite a first and goal. It's first and 10 from the 10. ground it's Eckler and he takes it in for a charger touchdown a 10-yard touchdown run and the chargers they're able to widen their lead first quarter now they find the end zone again here in the second sometimes you just have to have some patience a lot of people think it's always an adjustment Michael you have to change Bradley what you're doing sometimes you just have to do your game plan just a little bit better and i think that's part of what we're seeing here and it's good to make it 14 nothing makes the score chargers 14 bengals nothing Mike Badgley to kick off for the Chargers. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. And this will be a touchback as that sails over the end line. 25-yard line. The Bengals drive about to get going. And they're in a bind early here, down 14-0. Are you worried at this stage or still too early? You're worried. You're just trying not to transmit it to the rest of your team. You want to make sure that they stay positive. But at the same time, you're wondering, how are we going to move the football? What do we have on this play sheet that can work? Get back to basics is usually your answer. And make sure you find the guy who can move the ball fastest for you if you just get it in his hands. Yeah, still second quarter. You get points on the board here. I think you're feeling okay. Flushed out right. And he's taken down, trying to do a little too much, getting outside of the pocket, and it results in a sack. Credit the sack to Joey. edge but his technical expertise really knocks offensive tackles off balance 11 and a half sacks last season his goal each and every year not just to lead his team not just to lead the league but to beat out his own brother nick bosa who had nine sacks with the san francisco 49ers in 2019 so that'll leave burrow and the Bengals with a third and long after that sack we just saw burrow looking to pass and a throw there going to be incomplete. The passing game not in sync here early. And now it's fourth down. Problems on third down so far in this first half. Relatively small sample size, but they're now 0 for 3. And the average in the league, somewhere around 40% on third down for offenses. So what's the answer to this? Either convert them or don't get the third down in the first place. Get your big chunks of yards on first and second down. That'll be a 48-yard punt, one yard on the return. And that will come the offense as they take over. The Charger drive about to get going. It's been a good first half so far. They're up 14 to nothing. Points here. They can really put them in command before intermission. Yeah, and it's all well and good. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Sean Williams. And he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race. And he will bring it back. It's a pick six for the Bengals TD. It goes without saying, but I'm going to say it anyway. That's a ball he would like to have back, and it lands right in the lap of the defender from there. He doesn't have very far to go before he gets to the end zone, and he got there in a hurry. And that one makes it 14-7. to seven. Makes the score. Chargers 14, Bengals 7. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. Taken in at the three. 
And able to get this out to the 25. Take over first and 10 at their own 25-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. There was still more than a minute to go in the half. Time to try to mount a drive. And I would think that they would have to. This is today's NFL. you got to push it whenever you get an opportunity. You can never have enough points with the high-powered offenses that you face. And analytics will tell you, try and score when given the opportunity. This complete to Henry over the middle. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the stoppage will come with a little under a minute to go in this first half. Off the play fake to Eckler, it's Herbert. Eluding the pressure right. Now hit Herbert has it knocked free, and the Bengals grab it. You think about it, Charles, this is not a quarterback that's used to running the football a lot, and that time he was loose with it, had it knocked free. He always has to think to himself that there's always going to be traffic around because of what you just said. Not that elusive, not going to get into the open field very often. Remember, he's not Lamar Jackson, not Michael Vick back in the day. Always has to protect the football because there's always going to be people around. And he's got this down to the 35. Now the Bengals are going to use the first of their timeouts as they'll stop it with just over 40 seconds to go in the first half. The 35-yard line. Ball up to the 35 now as they come up on first and 10. Burrow going to fake to mix it and now look to throw. He'll air it out deep for Thomas. And that is incomplete. He couldn't hold on through the contact. Brings up second down. Normally you think the tight end's going to be able to catch the football and handle that contact. But in this case, maybe a little too much target to hit. That one was timed well. Incomplete. Here's second and 10 now from the 35. Just like that. Just like that. Burrow going to give this to Mixon. And he still has yet to get on track in this first half as they're going to stop him behind the line. Two yards the loss, and now third and 12. Third down and 12. So out comes the field goal team now for the second time here today. And quite a bit of pizza in this box. It's a 53-yard attempt. And this one is right down Broadway. And they'll cut the lead back down to four now at 14-10. Three points here. They're still down, but they put somewhat of a dent into that lead going into the break. Anything helps when you're trying to chip away at a lead, but they do know that they're going to need a little bit better effort in the second half. from the six and he'll be stopped up at the 25 over first and 10 at their own 25 yard line the charger drive about to get going now we're under 20 seconds to go in the half i'm guessing the wise play here is be safe that is the wise play because if you think about trying to fool them here Here's what you're facing. You're facing a loosened up secondary, playing a lot deeper than normal. So even if you run some type of misdirection, you're only gonna fool them for a second or so. And guess what? They're so deep, they're really not gonna be out of position. Take the knee, get to the locker room. Brings up second and four at the 31 yard line. They'll come up now second and four from the 31. Here's Herbert. Oh, it's a screen pass. That's complete. 
and he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. So from the 39 now, they'll come up on a first and 10. So we've reached halftime here on opening weekend. As we'll head down to Orlando, that's where we find our man Jonathan Coachman at our EA Sports Halftime Report. Coach, we'll see if week one fatigue becomes any kind of a factor as we are back underway in the second half. The Charger drive about to get going. They have the lead, now they'll be looking to extend that lead. And this is where I enjoy talking about one of my favorite subjects, tendency breakers, or counters as I also like to call them. You've done things in a certain way in the first half, and they've had ability to see what you've done. They're going to make their adjustments. So guess what? You adjust yourself and try and stay ahead of the pace because you are looking for some separation in this ball game. The adjustment to the adjustment. Without a doubt, <laughs> show them one thing, hit them with something else. This pass finds its way to Williams. And able to get this one across the 45 before he's brought down. Just his second catch of the game so far. This one moves the chains. First down. When I watched Mike Williams play receiver at Clemson, one of the things I was drawn to is toughness. This is a guy who took some big time hits out in the field as the number one receiver and kept finding ways to make plays. And finally it's paid off for him because in 2019, he had his first 1,000 yard season in the NFL and averaged over 20 yards per catch. So they'll come up in Bengals territory now with a first and 10 at the 42 yard line. He's got the first down here inside the 30. And he'll finally be taken down at the 18. 23 yards on the pickup there and a first. Boy, where would these guys be without his performance on the ground? That puts him over 100 yards now for the afternoon, and I tell you, he seems to be getting stronger as the day goes along. So from inside the 20, here's first and 10 at the 18. Here's a throw out wide complete to his running back right side. And he's in for a Charger touchdown. Austin Eckler already his second touchdown here in this opening weekend. And the Chargers find a way to stretch their lead. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. It's good, and it's 21-10. Makes the score... Chargers 21, Bengals 10. Michael Badgley to kick off for the Chargers. Following the touchdown, Badgley out there to kick it away. And that'll carry over the back line of the end zone for a touchback. 25-yard line. The Cincy offense about ready to go here on their next drive. And their halftime hold now even deeper. And they need a big drive here just to answer the first touchdown of the second half scored against them. They were down at the half. Now, as you mentioned, they're down a little bit bigger. But no time for discouragement. Just got to get back to it, right? Put your shoulder against the boulder and start pushing and try and get back to where you were to start the half. Second and 16. They're passing here, Joe Burrow. Chargers able to get the pressure and bring him down. Jerry Tillery breaking through to get him to the ground. It's a loss of seven. Third down. After the sack, they'll come up now third and long. Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised to see them run the ball here just to try and get some space. 
Now Joe Burrow on third and long. Flush to his right. He's going to run, but he's got a long way to go. And past the 40 before he's out of bounds. A real letdown defensively. That was third and a bundle, but they allow the conversion. First and 10 at the 43-yard line. Just like that, out of danger and up past the 40 now for first and 10. A handoff to Mixon. Yeah, boy, this defense again really making things tough on him as they stop him for no gain. The tackle now they struggled to get him rolling on the ground in the first half, and that's sort of continuing here in the third quarter. Yeah, but I don't think it's time to abandon the running game. I would say keep feeding the horse, and I believe he'll eventually reward them, especially as we get deeper in the game. Escaping the pressure right. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. A.J. Green. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. A.J. Green. 57 yards. And the Bengals able to get this back within a touchdown. So now the Bengals' offense will stay out there as he'll decide to go for two. Here's Burrow setting up to throw it. And they don't get it. They tried for the two-point conversion there, but unsuccessful. I don't know about you, but I can't wait for a few years of two-point tries and see what the data tells us. Because a lot of teams want to throw the ball in this situation, this time unsuccessfully. I just wonder if maybe running the ball might be the way to go. With it moved up from the three to the two, you would think maybe a few more attempts at running. I, I think stats over time may bear out that running the ball will at least be the equal of throwing it in that situation. The Charger drive about to get going. And for them, a touchdown their last go around. Obviously, they'll be hoping to do that again. And when you start plotting for this drive, when you start thinking to yourself, okay, what are we going to do? You don't go away from what you did before because that worked, but you have to be prepared for wrinkles and counters because you know they'll make some adjustments. He was trying to hit Taylor Gabriel that time. That'll bring up second down. Throwing again. Herbert. And this is caught. First catch for Keenan Allen. Yeah, he's going to be out of bounds, but not before he takes it inside the 40. A big play on the catch and run, covering 34 yards. And the How about the rookie in his NFL debut? Looking sharp. It's first and 10. Now a give running left is Eckler. And a short gain there down to the 37-yard line. The Charger ball carrier. No doubt about it. A really nice job there by the defense, not allowing him to get to the perimeter. But that means your defensive ends, your outside linebackers, the guys that you pay big money to to sack the quarterback, they also have to have interest in the running game as well. And they did a nice job there of holding the point of attack and not giving ground. Justin Herbert looking to throw on second down. Flushed out right. On the run, he'll let this go deep right side. And a big turnover there as his guys will get the football back. Certainly not what he was hoping for, Charles. That's now three interceptions in this ball game. But there's a lot of knowledge to be gleaned every time you throw an interception if you do things the right way. And hasn't there been a pretty darn good quarterback along the way who threw a lot of interceptions early, learned from them, and became great later? Who would that be? That'd be one Peyton Manning through 28 his rookie year. That's the NFL record. How things turn out for him? I think okay. He's a guy in all the commercials now, right? <laughs> yeah, I think he's doing okay. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. Sometimes with the running game, you've just got to stick with it. Look, it's the third quarter, no time to panic. But that also doesn't mean you just do it the same way you've been doing it the entire ball game. Maybe change up some blocking assignments or run a few different plays, but stay with the overall essence of the running game. From the 26, they'll line up on second and four. You ready? Mike 56, Mike 56. You must be dreaming. 18, pioneer. And that'll set him back five. 
Following the delay, here's second and nine. Once again, they run with Nixon. And the window closes quickly. He'll only get up to the 22-yard line. Only a yard on the pickup. And now they've got a third down and eight. Brings up third and eight. Off the play fake, here's Burrow. Into the hands of the tight end, this is Jordan Thomas. Pass the 20. And all the way in for a Cincinnati score. Jordan Thomas, 78 yards. And the Bengals have taken the lead. When they drew that up, I don't think they envisioned it ending in a house call. But he got it and took it all the way home. Really impressive run after the catch, wasn't it? That was, a, that was really special by him. But let's face it, those tight ends are often former wide receivers or maybe even sometimes bigger running backs. They just put them in a position to get a great matchup and make plays like that. Out of the gun, it's Burrow. And this is going to be intercepted. Picked off by Casey Hayward. And his guys are going to have the football back as the third quarter comes to an end. Bengals 22. And that is going to do it for this third quarter of action. We'll return with more after this break. You're watching the NFL on EA Sports. And this will not be returnable. It's out of the back of the end zone for a touchback. The Charger drive about to get going. And three interceptions in this game. And I would have to think, I wasn't a quarterback, but number four is kind of, oh, you're like, that his pass is intercepted for the fourth time today. Mackenzie Alexander with a pick. And he will score. Touchdown, Cincinnati. Touchdown. Coaches preach all the time about opportunities and taking advantage of them, and he did exactly that. I used to have a coach told us all the time, a lost opportunity is never regained. Well, no regrets here. He picked that one off and took it to the house. Extra point by Seibert, up and good, and that will ensure that it will take a touchdown and a two-point conversion to tie it. So they throw the pick six. They'll get another shot at it now as this one's in the air. Fielded near the back of the end zone. And in hindsight, probably should have taken a knee as he only gets this out to the 16-yard line. 16-yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. And can they regroup? That's the question. The pick six hurt, no doubt. But this is still a one-score game here in the fourth. And now a throw here secured by his running back out of the backfield. Complete to Austin. Six yards was the pickup on the last completion, so here's second and four. They'll run out of the gun with Eckler. Just a yard on the pickup there, and it'll leave them with a third and three. Here's where this crowd can really help make things difficult. It's third and three. And that's into the hands of Eckler. And he is out of bounds right around the 34. It'll go as a gain of 11 and a Charger first. First down. This possession means so much for them. They've got to focus on this drive and find a way to make this a one possession game. Yes. Got to get a score. Yeah, so good with a field goal. Don't necessarily need a touchdown. Now he's going to swing this one out to his running back. And he'll get it out near the 40 to the 39. To Austin Eckler. Second and five after the five yard completion on first down. A shotgun snap for Herbert. And now here is another interception. William Jackson with a pick. And the return stops at the 39-yard line. And you have to wonder, Charles, a game like this, five interceptions, what does this do to the psyche of a young quarterback? Well, based on the fact that he's still out there and he threw a fifth interception, I'm wondering if his head coach believes that he's really strong mentally and wants him to play through it. Because otherwise, you need to get him out and fight another day because this could leave lasting damage if he keeps throwing interceptions. 
Pretty good results here on the first down run as he takes this forward for about six. Got to figure now, after getting that turnover, they're just going to be happy to keep the ball on the ground, right? This is where covering the football, taking care of the ball, all the ball security terms have ever been used. They come into play for the guys on offense right now. Just take care of it, and they've got a good chance of ending up winning this game. Tim Williams. Now, obviously, that's some good work there defensively, being able to stop them and bring it up a key third down. But if you're on the offensive side, to the ball, there's an opportunity because I know what defensive guys are thinking right now. Just stop them, get to the ball. That means they might not be sound defensively. There could be some opportunities. And you said key third down. Highlight that word, put it in bold. Here we go. Second catch for him today, and it'll wind up a first down. Couldn't just sit on it here, could they? Had to throw the ball on third down, got the big completion in the pickup. Fresh set of downs now. They've got to feel great. And defensively, a backbreaker. First down, Nixon. They get him to the ground right on the cusp of the red zone after a pickup of five or six. Good gain there on first down. It keeps them in a running situation, probably. They did everything right on that play, didn't they? They got the leverage up front, good blocking, nice hole for him. Ends up picking up nice yardage, stays in bounds to keep the clock rolling. They are in charge of this scenario right now. They want to stay that way. And not in any rush offensively. Again, it's Mixon. And he'll be close to a first down at the Charger 16. It's a five-yard game, but they'll still be a yard short here with third down now looming. That's well, the objective there, I mean, yes, the positive gain, that's nice, but work some clock. Yeah, you're exactly right, but the problem for them is still within a possession. So they can't just sit on it running the ball. They'll have to find a way to throw it effectively as well. push the pile and he takes it down to the 13 and picks up the first two yards and able to get the first down in the process 13 yard line from the 13 now they work on first and 10 whistles now in a timeout defensively so a wise move as they'll use the first of their timeouts to force one more play before the two-minute warning. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They'll try and run some clock here as they keep it on the ground. And he'll take this into the end zone for a Bengal TD. A 13-yard touchdown run. And the Bengals, they widen their lead. Here's Seibert now to add the extra point. And the lead is up to 15 now. Makes the score. Bengals 36. Chargers 21. Following the touchdown, here's Seibert now to kick it off. And they will not get a chance to return this one as it's through the end zone for a touchback. Yard line. The Charger drive about to get going. They are looking to make a bit of a 180. They are sputtering right now. And frankly, I think it's time to call your playmakers together and say, all right, guys, we're going to lean on you through this patch. We need you to get us back on track and get us going in the right direction. So you're calling plays geared to them. Not necessarily what you look at your plays, oh, this hurts the defense. I want the ball in the hands of X, Y, and Z and see if we can move forward. So don't get too cute. Go to the playmakers. On first and 10, Herbert. And he's got his favorite target yet again. It's complete. Six yards on the pickup, and it's a second down. A six-yard pickup brings up second. Here's Herbert down on second down. Looking for Allen. He's got him on the slam. And he'll go down, but not before getting this inside the 30. Now the Chargers will use the second of their timeouts as the clock's going to stop with 47 seconds to go in the fourth. Setting up to throw on first down. Eluding the pressure right. 
He'll get this to Eckler. And he'll go out of bounds in the red zone just inside the 20. Give him eight on the play, and that'll make it second down. He was out there waving his arms, and when you got a quarterback out of the pocket looking for any help, I guess waving the arms is helpful. It certainly is because you got to get his attention because now you're in scramble drill. So everyone's adjusting their routes, finding open space, and he found the right spot for the completion. Herbert throwing again. Buying time to his left. And he's not able to get away. Sacked back at the 22. Carl Lawson with a little how do you do as he gets in there for the sack. Finding Gabriel complete. Chargers going to use their third and final timeout as they stop it with 14 seconds to go in the game. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. Herbert operating from the red zone. And this is caught. So it's a late touchdown, but maybe too late. Still a little time left on the clock, however. Solid response that time by a young quarterback. Last drive interception, this drive the touchdown pass. I like how you described it solid because you don't get extra kudos for bouncing back if you're going to be a big-time quarterback. You're supposed to do that. But at the same time, when you're a rookie, that's not guaranteed, is it? Sometimes they hang their heads and they go in the tank a little bit. Not in this case. Bounce back, took his team downfield, and threw a touchdown pass. And this is going to be recovered by the Bengals' hands team. And they're going to hang on and win this game. They had to go for it with no timeouts remaining, though, now. This one's as good as over. They gave it an effort. They tried their best, did everything they could to try and get the ball on the onside kick. You're exactly right. They had to try it. It was their only option. And now this game is done. Just take it, kneel, and call it a day. They go down to a knee, and the new campaign off to a good start. It's a win here in week one. Today, so this one in the win column now for the Cincinnati Bengals. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. It's going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for the Bengals, it was a hard-fought game, and they'll exit 1-0 as they win by a touchdown. And they will hit the road next week for a date with the Cleveland Browns. Meanwhile, for the Chargers, they obviously fall to 0-1 with the defeat. And they'll try to get back to their winning ways next week as they head to KC to take on the Chiefs. So for Charles Davis and our entire crew, I'm Brandon God. Next game, guess what? Charles and I will be here again. It's the NFL on EA Sports.